Hey, this is Brian with the HVAC School podcast and HVACRschool.com. I'm making this video about the RefTech app, and the RefTech app is made uh, by Blue Mountain Consulting in conjunction with Dick Wurz. Dick has been on the podcast many times. He's a really great refrigeration trainer, uh, one of my favorite people in the industry, and he made this app just as a very simple way of helping you diagnose refrigeration equipment, especially for those of you who are maybe in you know, air conditioning technicians and you want a little bit of assistance and the diagnosis of refrigeration equipment. So the screen you can see right now, I just typed in RefTech. I've already downloaded it. It's Apple or Android. So you open up the RefTech app. The first thing you're going to notice is with an Android device, you get a 10-day free trial. With an iPhone, you do not. Um, but after that 10 days, you are going to need to subscribe. And it's only $10 a year currently, um, last I checked. And so that's pretty simple. You just click down here at the bottom where it says subscribe. You can see I'm already subscribed. And now each one of these fields, you adjust very easily just by clicking it. You can select up or down. The uh, refrigerant is actually a slider that you can just slide up. I'm rolling my thumb across it right now to change the refrigerant. So we're gonna start with R404A. I'm just gonna do a quick scenario here to show you how easy this is to use. So let's take a scenario. Let's say you have a walk-in freezer. Um, let's say it was running at minus 10 degrees box temperature, but now it's up to plus 10 degrees Fahrenheit just before defrost. So the evaporator is evenly covered with frost. After about 15 minutes of defrost, the entire evaporator is clear of frost and appears clean. All the fans are working. It has four defrosts a day with a 45 minute fail safe, no ice on the fan guards, drain pan or ceiling. The condenser appears clean, no temperature drop across the filter dryer. So I went through all that just so you understand like any app like this is not a replacement for doing that full inspection first. You always have to do that full inspection. So we're gonna select the system type. We're gonna select a walk-in metering device. We have a TEV instead of fixed metering you see up in the top right. So TEV is thermostatic expansion valve instead of fixed metering. Um, condenser efficiency, we're gonna say it's a high efficiency like a microchannel condenser or something like that. And we're gonna choose 404A, which again, you just scroll up and down through that. Uh, let's see, our, our low side pressure, we're going to change that to 22 pounds per square inch gauge. Uh, let's see, suction line temperature, we're gonna give that a 10 degree suction line temperature. High side pressure, um, we're gonna say we have 217 PSI high side pressure with a liquid line temperature of 92 degrees. So we're just using, using like a real life scenario here. And a air entering EVAP, we already said that, of 10 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're gonna say that our uh, outdoor air temperature is 90. All right, so there we go. So now it's adjusted and given us our condenser split. It's giving us our condenser subcooling, evaporator superheat, and our evaporator TD of 22 degrees Fahrenheit. Evaporator TD, like we've talked about a lot on the podcast, is the difference between the air in the box and the temperature of the evaporator itself. So now all we do is we just go down and hit diagnosis. Likely fault, low charge, which is, you know, for those of you who are experienced refrigeration tax, you know that that's, that's what we're looking at there. If you click repairs, then it's going to give you a more in-depth look at low charge. So key is high superheat, over 20 degrees with low subcooling. Add a refrigerant and check for leaks. It talks about a little bit about a flooded, uh, a flooded uh, condenser with a head pressure regulating valve. So there you go. Down at the bottom, you hit done. Very, very simple to use. Um, some people have, you know, mentioned that, you know, it, it looks a little bit more like a, like an older app from, from years past. But what I'll say about it is that who, who cares? It's a very simple app. It doesn't need to be anything more complicated than that. And it has a lot of really good logic in it. So let's do one more scenario before we finish off here. So we have a walk-in freezer. It was running at minus 10, but now is at 25. So plus 25 degrees. Evaporator looks clear, uh, clean from the back where the air enters. All fans are working. It has 40 frosts a day with a 45 minute fail safe. No ice on the fan guards, drain, drain pan or ceiling. The high efficiency condenser appears clean. So it's a high efficiency condenser with no filter drop across the filter dryer. So again, all, all standard things that you should be checking. All right, so now let's go, we'll, we'll set this. So, you know, again, walk in or reach in. Top left, we're gonna do stay with walk in. TEV, set a fixed metering, 404A refrigerant again. And now let's say we have a low side pressure of 33 PSI with a suction line temperature of 10 degrees, a high side pressure of 237, a liquid line temperature of 90, an air entering the evaporator of 25, 
and an error entering the condenser of 90. So now you can see that I had done here. Now you can see our condenser splits 10, condenser subcools 10, evaporator TD is 24, and our evap superheat is 9. So let's see the diagnosis here. Likely fault dirty or iced evaporator or low airflow. So we've got low evaporator airflow. And you'll notice that it says that the evaporator looks clean from the back. Um, but that isn't a full confirmation that you have no you have no issues there. So we can be pretty confident that we've got low airflow. Then you go to repairs, dirty or iced evaporator or low airflow. The key is low condensing temperature, normal subcooling, low evaporator temperature, so on and so forth. So it just goes through and, and you know addresses all of those different situations. But anyway, it's a good app, something that you should look into, especially for you uh, technicians out there who do a little bit of refrigeration but not enough to always know what to look for. It'll save you a lot of time. And at $10 a year, it's definitely a bargain. Um, I trust Dick. He's a really good guy. Um, and I think you should check out the RefTech app. All right, thanks. Have a great one. Talk to you again soon on the HVAC School podcast and HVACRschool.com.